Number one, the Holy Spirit initiates our ministry. We have to, have to, have to always start with what the Holy Spirit wants us to do. There have been people, now listen close to me, to me on this. This is so crucial. There have been people that have gotten wounded or burnt out in ministry because they didn't do ministry as a response to the Holy Spirit. They did ministry as a response to their peers. Well, I think you would do really good at this ministry, brother. Oh, sister, this is the ministry that I think is really good for you. And, oh, I can just see this working in your life. I think you should really pursue this. I think this is what God wants you to do. Sometimes the Lord will use others when we are too hard of hearing to hear his voice or when we are too stubborn to see beyond our own way. Sometimes the Lord does bring somebody else to kind of kick us in gear, but the majority of faithful ministers are faithful because they remember that it wasn't a colleague that called them. It was the Holy Spirit that called them. You need to know that what you're doing is not because everybody else thinks it's what you should do. Because let me be real with you. When you're doing what everybody else wants you to do, the minute that it doesn't align with what they want, they'll pull their backing. And then you'll be left like, wait, hold on, I thought you were for me. And then there'll be no reason to continue because you only did it for the people that said you should do it. People get burned out that way. The way that God works is he says, I'm calling you. So that when other people don't affirm, you're like, that's fine. God called me. I can't stop. God called me to do this. And there will be times where the enemy, because listen, sometimes the enemy comes to church. I don't know if you know that. Sometimes the enemy shows up. He, he wants to know what's going on. Sometimes he shows up the best dressed. Sometimes he shows up the worst dressed. But here's the thing. There are plants of the enemy in churches. And so if we're basing our ministry off of what everybody else says, you might come in contact with what Jesus calls a tear, the wheat and the tares. You might come in contact with a tear who will get you way off track. Sometimes you'll be doing what God calls you to do, and then people will come up, hey, I think that the Lord has something else for you, brother. Don't believe me. Look, it happened to Jesus. When Jesus was talking about God's will for him to lay down his own life so that salvation would come through faith in his death, burial, and resurrection, Peter was like, far be it for you. You're not going to do that. The Bible says that Peter rebuked Jesus. Like you gotta say, I rebuke you, Jesus. And Jesus is like, get behind me, Satan. Okay? So so you have to understand it's the Holy Spirit that initiates the call, not man.